three black elements. What is the nature of this black element and a black element? And uh, there is a we have to go with the word uh, which are contain outermost orbital or enter into. Yeah. Outermost orbital or enter into which one? Yes, S orbital. Okay, clear or not? S orbital that is the called S black elements. Okay, clear or not? We have to enter into one is one, one is two, three is one, two is two, or n is one, n is two. Okay, clear or not? N is one, two, two, n is one, two, two. Okay, whatever may be that is n is uh, one, two, two, it will be there. It is only called what? S black elements. Got it or not? This element is only called what? S black elements. I hope you got it here. The next component is here, what we are consider? There is except uh, hydrogen, helium, and uh, all elements of S blacks are active elements, active elements only, active metals only. Clear or not? Yes, except to hydrogen. In the S black, what the elements are there? Uh, when you know, when you consider it is, uh, yes, up to lithium, sodium, okay, the first A and the first B group elements are there only. Okay, now belongings to the yes, uh, S black elements. There is a magnesium group and as well as the sodium group or a beryllium group. The totally it will be belongs to the S black elements. Got it? Or? Yes, and uh, there is a these elements are especially contain some property. What the property is? They contain active elements, they contain a plus one and a plus two oxidation state. Now they form a basic oxides and they impact. Uh, they impart the characteristics of the color to the flame. Generally, they form ionic salt with non metals. They are uh, salines at uh, room temperature. Their hydroxides are in a uh, basic nature. Okay. And there are uh, highly reactive and uh, readily for uh, unevenant une une uh, and uh, bivalent positive ions by losing the velocity of electrons. The element of the black are uh, soft, malleable, and uh, good conductors of heat. Okay, now. yes, sorry. Yeah. There is, we consider the word, these all the properties are there. First, you know how to know what is this property. Okay, what is oxidation? Yes, and I will add what is ionization? What is ionic compound? What is the correlate compound? Okay, now, yes. And these all you have to know. First, we have to go discuss about that. Oxidation and I will add the reduction. Okay, there is a word, oxidation is nothing but what? A uh, loss of electrons. Reduction is nothing but gain of electrons. Okay, clear or not? Yes, when one substance is a gain the electron, it is a called reduction. When the one substance is a loss the electron, it is a called oxidation. Got it? Or? This is about oxidation and as well as the reduction. And uh, suppose uh, ionization energy, the terms may get in this properties totally. What is which one is a called ionization energy? Suppose when you take here. There is a, an atom, outermost orbital, the electron is there now. The electron is taken out from this atom. Okay, at that time, what it is become? Ion. Suppose the sodium contains what? 11 electrons inside it. There is a two electrons are here and eight electrons are here. Eight electrons are here. In the third orbit, there is a one more electron is there. Suppose we are given some part amount of energy, automatically this energy utilized by this electron, it will be may get out from that atom. The sodium is a become what? Sodium plus. Okay, now it become as an ion or not. It lasts of one electron. Okay, now because of that, it will become as a nearest inert gas nature. This uh, energy required to remove the electron from outermost orbital is only called what? It is only called as ionization energy. I hope you got it. 
This is only called what? This is a called ionization energy. Yes, it is a ionization energy. Okay, clear or not? Means what? How much energy is utilized for the prepared as it is a ion? Okay, clear or not? And uh, the same thing, when we want to add one electron to the other atom, that is a called electronegativity energy. We require some amount of energy to add the electron or we want to remove the electrons from outermost orbital also, we require energy. Whatever the electron we want to remove from the outermost orbital, again as to the nuclear energy, okay, now it will be have the attraction power between uh, this electron to this nucleus. When we apply the force on the, this electron, it will be may come out from it. Got it or not? It will be may come out from it. Understood or not? Yes, this is only called a word. This is only called as ionization energy. Okay, one more thing. There is a covalent substances are formed sometimes. Sometimes there is a word. Ionic substances are formed because of the sharing of electrons with one another and as well as the totally exchanging of electron with one another. First, you have to go with the terminology, then after we we'll go with the properties. Yes, covalent bond. Which one is called a covalent bond? Between the one atom to the another atom. Okay, the sharing of electron between the one atom to the another atom, the two atoms are combined together, formed as a covalent substance or a covalent bond. Sharing only. Suppose you take a hydrogen and you take a chlorine. Got it or not? This hydrogen is a contain one electron outermost orbital, you know very well. Okay, clear or not? Chlorine is a contain of seven electrons in outermost orbital. You know very well it is. Clear or not all the students? How many electrons are there? Chlorine has yes, 17, uh, seven electrons in there in outermost orbital. Why? Because it is the one is one. This is the what? One is two, two is two, two p six, three is two, three p seven. Got it or not? How many electrons are there inside it? Seven electrons are there in outermost orbital. When it is become stabilized, when the seven is become eight, okay, it is become stabilized. Why? Because 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. It is a which RP, which electron configuration, argon electronic configuration. In case it is become what year? There is a 3p5 it is, sorry. 3p6, when it is a become 3p6. Automatically, it is a become what? 8 electron in outermost orbital. It is follow the active law and it becomes stabilized. When there is a hydrogen, is a contain only one electron. In case it is a given the electron, what happened? There is a no atom. Without electron, there is a no atom. But uh, why the hydrogen is a coming towards the bond formation between this? Yeah, there is a actually hydrogen contain one electron. And as well as the chlorine contain like this arrangement of electrons, you know very well according to the which rule? Yes, uh, Wundt's rule. According to the Wundt's rule, there is an outermost p orbital, it is a contain like this arrangement. There is only one electron is not stable. The remaining all are stabilized already. One is clack, another one is anti-clack. One is clack, another one is anti-clack. There is these two electrons are comes together. And the sharing these two electrons, both the atoms, understand all of you, hydrogen and another atom chlorine. This whatever one electron contains here, in hydrogen, whatever electron, this is there, the two are okay, shared by the two things. Got it or not? Chlorine is taken these two electrons and hydrogen is also taken these two electrons. When hydrogen is a contain a two electron, it becomes what? Helium. Okay, now when the chlorine is a get these two electrons, it is become what? 3p6, it is become argon. In this way, the covalent bonds are formed. Yes, what happened here? Sharing of electron is a possible. Suppose you take a sodium chloride also, like that only. Sodium contains one outermost electron. Chlorine is required one electron. These two are, one is a sharing with another one. Okay, now what happened? Sharing is not it's a required here. It will be totally transferred, not sharing it is. The same chlorine, here there is a covalent bond formed. When it will be go with the sodium, it formed ionic bond. Ionic bond is nothing but what? Totally electron is lost. Is another one is gain. Here no loss, no gain. Just sharing. Okay, clear or not? It contains its own electron, it contains its own electron. 
but which is a common thing is there which is a common electron is there common electron pair is there the shared by the both element that type of uh, nature is called what it is it is a called that is a called what madam huh? that is a called as uh, the covalent bond got it uh? next one is our ionic bond ionic bond is nothing but totally one electron is a change from one atom and it is enter into the another atom that is a called what ionic bond okay like nacl formation one second how the nacl is a formula okay yes how nacl is a formula what is the sodium atomic number 11 and it will become what 1s2 2s2 2p3 3s1 and you take a chlorine what is atomic number 17 One is two, two is two, two p six, three is two, three p five. Okay, clear or not? Yes. After the chlorine, what is there? Argon. After the, before the, after the chlorine, argon it is there. Before the sodium, neon it is there. It want to become a neon. Then it will be last this electron. It will become neon. Okay, now this electron is taken by this one. It will become what? Three p six. Automatically, it is a become what? Argon. Okay now now the sodium whatever the electron is a contained here it will be totally given to which one okay now in outer most there is a sodium contain about that only one electron it will be given to the chlorine why because the chlorine is a contain totally how many electron seven only now when we give the electron it will be also contain eight in outer most got it or not the sodium totally last the electron And it is a given to the chlorine. It is become as a neon. Okay, now this electron which is given by the sodium, it is taken by our argon, our chlorine. It is a become as a argon. Now totally NaCl is a become what stabilized. When it is individually as a sodium, when it is individual as a chlorine, they are not stabilized. Okay, when one is a is combined together another one, automatically they become stabilized. This nature, whatever they transferring of electron between one atom to the other atom, is a called what? Ionic compound. This is a called what? Ionic compound. In case sharing is there, it is a called what? Covalent compound. Okay, now these all the things are there in this. What is ionization energy? What is oxidation number? What is the yes, uh, electronegativity for S black or P black or D black? Like that, it will be there. All the properties once you read it. Okay na, and I want to uh, give the one by one property. In case any property is uh, critical, I want to give it. Okay, the explanation of that. One second. Oxidation number for the S black elements are what? Plus one or uh, plus two. The both are only possible. Why because the last is the electron. Okay na, what is the general configuration? What is the general configuration? Either N S one or N S two. It will be should. Okay, na either last one electron or last two electrons it may become stabilized except the hydrogen. Okay, na in case last the hydrogen one electron it will be no atom. Okay, clear or not? It is not a possible. That is why oxidation is a either plus a one or a plus two depending on that. And they are a basic oxides. They form the basic oxide. You know very well. Sodium oxide, magnesium oxide. Okay, na yes, and uh, these all are form the oxides only. Okay, easily they combine with oxygens. Okay, clear or not? Magnesium oxide, sodium oxide, beryllium oxide, lithium oxide. Regularly it is a possible. Why? Because oxygen contain s how many electrons? Eight. Oxygen atomic number is eight. Its electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p four. How many required? More two electrons are required. Okay, clear or not? More two electrons are required to stable. Our s black elements are contain either one electron or two electron. If the two electron is there, it is enough to our oxygen. Its last is magnesium. Suppose magnesium oxide. Its last is its electrons two electrons. What is the magnesium atomic number twelve? It want to become a ten neon. What happened? Minus two. This minus two is taken by our oxygen. Got it or not? When it is taken, the oxygen minus two is the It will be formed as a what neon. Understood not all of you. In this way, there is a what uh, oxides are easily formed by our yes black elements. Got it or not? And next to come to here, they form a uh, generally they form ionic salt with the non metals. Already we are discussed now how the ionic salts are formed with the non metals. 
what is that sodium is combined with the chlorine formed as a sodium chloride magnesium is a combined with the chlorine it's a formed as a magnesium chloride okay na clear or not the chlorine is a what non metal substances chlorine bromine iodine okay these all are non metal sulfur oxygen nitrogen these all are okay non metal substances okay they are mixed with the non metal substances okay they formed as a salts what are that formed s black elements are yes sodium is s black element or not it is one of the s black element it will be combined with the chlorine chlorine is a what non metal substance and formed as the ionic compound ionic nothing but it transfers its electron totally from one atom to the another atom okay na please keep in your mind already we discussed two type of compounds are there one is ionic compound another one is a covalent compound which one is a called ionic compound which is electron totally transferred from one atom to the other atom it is a called ionic compound which atoms are sharing the electrons it is a called what yes covalent compounds got it or not yes here the sodium chloride is a formed totally because of transferring of one atom one one electron to the other electron sodium chloride is a formed one atom to the another atom sodium to the chlorine there is a electrons are totally transferred that's why only it's a form like that ionic compounds are formed because of this our s black elements and next one uh, after that the important characteristics of a color to the flame when we burn these things are given the colored flame okay you know very well magnesium oxide during the crackers okay now when we burn it is a formed as a one colored flames okay na yes and sodium also when we burn the salt it will be get somewhat a color from it okay clear or not and next one there is a, they are a solids at room temperature most of the s black elements are solids only okay na only the cesium is as a liquid at 35 degree centigrade what is the room temperature normally we are taken 23 degree centigrade to the 35 degree centigrade it's a called a room temperatures okay clear or not these temperatures are at this temperatures our all s black elements are contain which nature yes which nature solid nature only they contains okay you know very well whatever 117 atoms everything is a solid no oxygen is a what gas hydrogen is a what gas nitrogen is a what gas fluorine is a what gas chlorine is a what gas but our these all the s black elements are not a become gas lithium beryllium sodium magnesium cesium these all are not a what not it is a gas here okay calcium is a not a gas calcium is a what s black element only okay clear or not that is the thing we are consider and next one uh, their hydroxide are a contain a basic nature you know very well acids and basic component sodium hydroxide okay what it is base or not strong base we are know very well potassium hydroxide it is a what a base is or not yes magnesium hydroxide calcium hydroxide lime water in the seventh class we already know very well in acids and bases we are prepared already okay now yes uh, that is the calcium hydroxide potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide these all are contain which nature which nature base is nature got it or not and next to come to here there is a they are they are highly reactive and readily to form out as un univalent or a bivalent positive ions by losing the valency electron you know very well there is a what these are contain high reactive rate which are contain high reactive rate s black elements are contain high reactive rate why because okay you know very well lithium beryllium suppose the sodium magnesium or potassium or a calcium up to 20 between the 20 elements these are all s black elements one check what is the valency of this this valency of is the lithium is the one beryllium valency is also two sodium valency is the one magnesium valency is the two it is the one it is the two clear or not yes easily they combine with the other elements or not one electron is there okay na one into one 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 into two one into three one into four one into five easily the combination may get or not 
Yes, one is a multiple of any other number, it is a give the same number. Okay, now, when one atom are required the three electrons, two electrons, four electrons, five electrons, it is ready to give or not. Why? Because suppose it is not may possible or not. Suppose six electrons are required. There is a chemical uh, water, six sodium. Okay, now, to that uh, nearby that atom, automatically six electrons are available for it or not. Okay, now, why? Because Every sodium lasts one, 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 one electron. We require six electrons. Okay, the six electrons are given six sodiums. That in that is why, okay, now the easily they are given the electrons. Okay, now and easily they formed as a near kinetic gas. The lasting of electron is a easy compared with the gaining of electron. Okay, clear or not? Easily last as it is. Why? Because it is outermost orbital. The electron is not that much of attraction is not there with the nucleus. Then easily, when we are given a slight uh, ionization energy also, the electron will come out. Okay, clear or not? That is why there is a what? Uh, pairing is also may not there. Suppose you take a magnesium, it lasts two electrons, it formed as a bivalent. Okay, now here these all are univalent or a bivalent elements only. Yes, black elements, uh, valency is become either one or a two. Okay, one it is there, it is a called univalent, two it is there, it is a called a bivalent. Okay, now that's why easily they lost the electrons and they contain more reactivity nature. They contain more reactivity nature. Means what? It is easily formed the compounds with the other substances. Why? Because it, it is ready to give the electrons easily. Okay, now in this way, the more reactive elements in the periodic table are what? Yes, black elements only. Okay, the question may ask for you. Which of the following is a more reactive elements? S black, P black, D black, F black. Yeah, S yes black elements so, only. Got it? Next. Next compare here. The elements of these blacks are soft, malleable, and good conductor of heat and electricity. The elements have the largest atomic and ionic radii, but lowest ionization energy. Yes, clear or not all those students? There is we already discussed about this thing. Okay, now as ionization energy now only, yes, the elements of this black are soft and as well as the malleable and a good conductor of a heat and a electricity. When you are take a detergents, okay, the detergent makes a what soft the water. Okay, clear or not? Whatever the hardness of water is removed. What you understood from this one? When there is a detergents are contained, what our sodium, magnesium, these are the things. Sodium hydroxide used it where detergents only. Okay, clear or not? Yes, you already studied this concept in your seventh class uh, as it and basis lesson. Okay. Yes, sorry. And here there is a what we are considered? There is we consider the sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and all these things, whatever there, that all the potassium and as well as the sodium hydroxides, uh, these are contain the what slippery nature. You know very well, all the bases are contain soapy nature. Okay, now, why they soft in a manner? Okay, and they conduct the good electricity also. You know very well, for our earthing purpose, what we are poured? Salt. Okay, now, we want to give the earthing for our house. We are adding somewhat salt to it with the metals. Why? Because they easily divide as ions and they accept the electricity easily. This magnesium and this, all s black elements are good conductors of electricity. Okay, clear or not? And the next component is they contain a what uh, atomic and ionic radii, a largest atomic and ionic radii. Okay, compare with other black elements, and uh, they are contained, but they contain a what e, uh, less ionization energy. Already we are discussed. They contain high reactivity and they are ready to give electrons. When one member is asking, easily they give the electron. Why? Because when it is large electron, it becomes stabilized. That possibility is not there for oxygen. That possibility is not there for fluorine. That possibility is not there for the nitrogen. But easily the sodium, magnesium, okay, now somewhat aluminium also sometimes easily last their electrons. Lasting of electron is only required for ionization energy or not. We are taken electron from the outermost orbital. The required amount of energy is only called ionization energy. You know very well. Okay, now, the ionization energy values are very low for the what? For this. Our S black elements. Got it? Or? Next. After this, we have the what uh, one more property. This they show the fixed valency and oxidation status 
the last uh, outermost electrons are ready to become form a m plus or m2 plus ions okay na uh, already they have the metals of their salts uh, imparted a golden yellow color to the flame the elements of this group have a large size okay na strong and are reducing the nature high electro positivity nature very low electro negativity values ionization energy and the electron affinity these are the things already there in our yes the first uh, properties only okay they are formed as a what ions m plus 1 and m plus 2 m plus 1 for 1s1 outermost orbital or ns1 outermost orbital configuration if ns2 is outermost orbital it formed as a plus 2 ion ns1 outermost orbital is it contain as a electron figure configuration it is plus 1 may forms got it or not this is only about our s black elements okay now i hope you got it there is a contain whatever the salts coming from this s black element they given which type of flame yellow colored flame gold yellow colored flame s yes, of uh, may comes for us got it or not then after that we have the pre black elements Which one is the called the p black elements? Which one is the called the p black elements? Yeah. Which one is the called the p black elements? Which are contain electronic configuration outermost from which ns two and np one two six. Np one two six. The ns from okay na yes two started here. Okay na means what? The ns what it is two s two. And two p one. It is a which black p black element only. The outermost orbital should compass the yes orbital totally filled. Either maybe three s two or maybe like that. Totally filled it is yes. And two p one two two p six means what? Lithium two. Sorry, lithium not boron two. Okay, now in the first period boron two. Which one? Neon. Okay, now they are all coming under which are which one? They all are coming under p black element only. Aluminium to okay, now yes, argon. They all are okay, now coming into p black elements only. Okay, clear or not? Third A group element to the yes, eighth A group elements. Third A element to the eighth A elements all are okay, now which black p black elements? Got it or not? Why? Because the p orbital only they contain unfilled mode. Outermost p orbital only not a contain in a filling nature. Okay, there some what a vacancies are there. Okay, clear or not, all the students? Yes, I hope you got it here. The ionization energies and all other the uh, whatever the electro negativity energies and the formation of the there some what ions are formed of negative ions, some what positive ions are formed. Okay, clear or not? Yes. There is a third A group elements one circuit. They contain a positive valency, okay na? And uh, there is nothing but they contain a positive ionic nature formation. Suppose you take oxygen, fluorine, okay, nitrogen. They form what negative ions, okay na? Like that, whatever our suppose you take S black elements, they always form what positive ions only. But our P black is not like that. They form what positive and as well as the negative ions also. Okay, because of that, they are not only formed ionic compounds; they also formed covalent compounds also. Okay, now why? Because sometimes sharing is also possible. Okay, suppose you take oxygen; it is a which type of a substance? Covalent substance. Two oxygen atoms comes together; they sharing the two pair of electrons. Okay, clear or not? You'll get it is in a chemical bond lesson. How the oxygen is a formed? How the fluorine is a formed? How the Hydrogen is as a H two only. This is when we get. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to discuss about P black element properties. Okay, yes, yeah. All the students, I hope you understand. This is a very important lesson. Okay, now up to your intermediate, these the components are important for you in a periodic table. Okay, got it? Yes, the fundamental of periodic table is available in seventh class. Okay, now IIT textbook once. Uh, Go through the seventh class textbook. Whatever the fundamental of IA periodic table, may you not get what it is actually. Yes, the base is not there. Already we are taken from base only. Dobrin and Triad, Mendeleev, Newlands, Active, Mary, uh, whatever modern periodic table we already discussed. But uh, we are not go that much of depth. 
it is required to you in a seventh class it will be there once go through the seventh class iit foundation textbook periodic table lesson okay you get lot of information or you go through the tenth class textbook in the tenth class regular textbook in that one also it will be there about a periodic table if you are interested please go to the and then after only you will come to here okay thank you anand Yeah.